What's up weirdo, Shade Tree Surgeon here and we're getting ready for another hair scramble but I am most assuredly not ready at all. Life has been an absolute whirlwind for the past couple weeks. We were out in Vegas for the AIM Expo, I've been back at work, I've had special events at the bar and now I'm jumping right back into another hair scramble when I just had a hair scramble right before I left before La for Las Vegas. I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm going 100 miles an hour but I wouldn't have it any other way and I'm certainly not gonna let that stand in the way of us heading out to Hogwaller and doing that hair scramble. Unfortunately, I still haven't gotten any time that's not during a race to test out the clake, although it performed really well for me in the last race, so fingers crossed it does again. I actually haven't even started up the KTM since the last hair scramble, and the only riding I've done was out in the middle of the desert on an 800 pound BMW K1600. So needless to say, I I'm going from one extreme to the other, but I'm not complaining, I'm having a good time. So let's fucking get into it, man. If you watched the last race video, you'll know that I smashed my front number plate off when I ran the bike into a tree. So luckily I still had my old headlights sitting around and I didn't really have time to go get any vinyl for it. So we're gonna go with the tried and true duct tape method. Well, that's pretty awful, so I guess it'll do. I swear to God, this KTM is getting jankier and jankier as time goes on. I'm just waiting for it to get so shitty and so terrible looking that KTM sees this and goes, you know, we can't have this guy representing us on this terrible looking bike. Let's just give him a new one. Yeah, that's, that's probably not gonna happen, but you know, a guy can hope. So let's get this bike loaded up. Once again, it's time to head to the bar, finish my shift, and then leave there at four in the morning and make the two hour drive out the hog waller to do that hair scramble. Like I said, it's it takes a lot to do that. I know a lot of people feel really bad for me that I have to do the hair scrambles this way, leaving directly from work and basically not getting any sleep, but let me tell you, don't feel bad for me. I'm having a fucking awesome time. Hi guys, in the F-350, heading into the Dirty Shames to my 12-hour shift before I get back on the road and make it three-hour drive to go race the Hogwaller Hair Scramble. Heading up there, as always, in the race rig, the 7.3 Power Stroke F-350, the Shade Tree Army official race rig. You know what's kind of funny? I've been making some videos with the Subaru Baja, the Les Camino, and I actually had someone comment on a video. They said, oh, I can't believe you, dr you, you drive a Subaru Baja. Uh -huh. A Subaru Baja? What a terrible car! I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm not subscribing because you drive a Subaru Baja. I'm just like, whoa, fucking pump the brakes, dude. You know, if you're going to unsubscribe because what I drive, I'm not really going to argue with you too much, but I do have two other ridiculous trucks. I just like driving the Subaru Baja when I go to actually ride at Kroom because that's a hundred mile round trip that I make weekly and guess what? The Baja gets like 27 miles a gallon. The F-350, not so much. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny enough to share with you guys that someone found the Subaru Baja. They found its mere existence offensive enough to not only unsubscribe, but to let me know that they were unsubscribing. Little do they know, I actually also drive the biggest, dumbest, loudest truck on the road. <laughs> Joke's on them? Me? I don't know. I don't know who the joke's on, but it's funny. All right, I'll catch up with you guys back in the bar. Man, I tell you, I actually need this race because this is the weekend after we went to Las Vegas and Jessica and I did not follow our keto diet at all in Las Vegas. I was eating fried chicken and sushi like crazy. So I need this race to get my fat ass back in gear and back into losing weight. So nothing like a big old shock to the system after four days of booze, fried chicken, and sushi. I do it to myself. I deserve the punishment. Okay. We're hanging out here at the bar. You never know who's going to show up. We got a surprise visit from the one and only Waldecorn. And of course, my man Robert, whose Cheers. Triumph Bonneville build will be done soon and will be joining us on some rides. What you do now, Waldo? And a special guest, Flip's mustache. <laughs> All right, oh, my man Erm stopped by tonight too. 
And uh, if you guys remember, we did the video where he got all freaking bashed up and wrecked up. And you'll be happy to know that he is back on two wheels. I don't quit. <laughs> That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> Standing out here in front of the Dirty Shame with my man Andy. And the night is creeping by because it's been incredibly slow because the front of our building looks like this right now. So not exactly the most inviting scene when you're hanging out in Ybor City and going like, I wonder where I want to go. Woo! Take it easy. All right, it is four o'clock in the morning. I'm actually feeling pretty beat after my shift. Picking up some corn-free gas here at the Wawa, and then it's off to pick up Dylan and head to Hogwaller. Welcome to Hogwaller. This place is nice, man. I'm up here with my boy Thumb Gas. Me and Dylan are about to go get our registration done, and it is actually cold. <laughs> Believe it or not, for us anyway. Who? It's frick, it's chilly. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> All you guys up north are probably laughing at us, but man, it is in the 70s right now and I'm freezing my nuts off. All right, I'm gonna get ourselves set up for tech and then start getting ready for the practice lap. Man, things are happening fast. I, I, I was just bartending like freaking what seems like an hour ago. How's it going, my man? Hey, how are you? Not bad. Get out there and have fun today. I will do. Man, even a hog wall or even the parking lot is treacherous. Dude, literally even this parking lot is like sandy enough that if you weren't real familiar with riding sand, you could definitely bust your ass. All right, let's see let's see those things. Dylan is rocking the official vintage, what are they, Thor? Yeah, the Thor. The Thor vintage pink and blue with the splash graphics motocross pants. <laughs> they don't make them like that anymore, buddy. These are what's gonna allow you to win today, Dylan. <laughs> He's, he's had them for a while, but he didn't deserve them until he got that trophy last time. <laughs> now he can bust out the action, the racing pants. All right, well, we followed Wes out here. He seemed like he knew where he was going at the time. I think we're actually on the trail. <laughs> That's where the best video is, man. Come on. I'm just going to go ahead and trust him. I'm close to the action. We've watched the start of the race and we've set the KTM and the YZ250 out here to contemplate the beauty of the lake and to reflect on what it means to be a winner while Dylan chugs a purple monstie and old shade tree surgeon gets ready for a nappy poo. West is over there doing West things. No one's really sure exactly how he prepares for a race, but we do know it's mysterious. Kevin's thinking about crashing in the first lap. It's gonna be spectacular. And Thumb Gas brought the whole family out. But for real, I've been up since about noon yesterday, so I'm just going on almost 24 hours right now. It's time to try to catch at least a little bit of a nap. And it's like 75, 76 out here, so I might actually get some sleep. See you guys when the race starts. J 
general of the shade tree armor getting ready to lead his troops in the battle. <laughs> Trust me, I lead from the rear on the ground. <laughs> so I've taken my <laughs> I've taken my second to last race piss. We're all getting ready. Wes, of course, cool as a cucumber. He'll do just fine. Dylan, nothing but nerves. Also, will do just fine. Kevin, wrecking the first turn, but he'll also do fine. And then there's me. I'm not worried about anything, but I'm going to suck, so. <laughs> well, that's fine by me. I'm still going to have fun. This is actually an awesome course today. I'm literally looking forward to going back out there just to run it again because it's such a cool track. So, see you guys on the start line. runs my leg over again. Oh, yeah, dude. Somebody was going all full Graham Jarvis on Wes over here. They used my leg for traction. <laughs> All right, well, let's hope people are a little cooler in the actual race. Dude, this is it. I didn't put extra, oh man, I forgot to put gas in my shit. Made that much quicker by the Stroker Industries trigger. Good folks over there at Stroker Industries. I have a link to this thing in the description if you want to get one yourself. It makes life way easy. <sighs> gotta get these things warmed up the right way. Dylan's got the right idea. A lot of people take their two strokes and try to just rev them up and let them run sitting there at the starting line, but I've always found it better, and Dylan agrees as a factory tech. It's better to warm a two-stroke up actually riding it around than it is just sitting around like you can do a four-stroke. And luckily it doesn't really take too long to warm these suckers up either. All right, let's get her done, baby. Narrow start line today, boy. What's up? How's it going, dude? Uh, do you remember from the room when I broke my handlebar at 650? Can you help me get out? Oh shit, dude! No way! Got a little different bike now. How, dude, what is this? A fucking Beta RR? Yeah. What a upgrade, man! <laughs> dude, fuck yes! Uh, this is my first race, too. This is your first race? Yeah. Dude, awesome! Oh man, I'm gonna roll that clip in right now for those of you guys who don't remember that shit. That was nuts, man! <laughs> uh, what happened? Handlebar. <laughs> My handlebar is done. Oh, fuck. Let's try this. I'm saying maybe if I can get this one in there too, like. Fuck off. No way. Josh! Awesome. Nice to meet you, Austin. Thanks, bud. I appreciate you. My, pro My man, what's up, dude? Don't run me over when you pass me, okay? I'm trying to stay wide. <laughs> Real wide, Dylan. Hey, thanks, boss. I enjoy your videos. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate the support, my brother. Hey, first race, man. You running a GoPro? Yeah. Fucking hit me up with that link when you post the video. Right. Oh, a little nervous. I feel like I should be holding something every time I do this. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Don't be a hero. It's a long race. Is it Kevin? Okay, it's not. Forgot to buckle my damn water bag. God damn it. If it ain't something, it's something else. I gotta get that or else I'm dead. Oh man. Oh, that was dumb, dumb, dumb. Like an idiot. All right, man. Get back in it. 
You are at an auto disadvantage right now, Josh. If you're going to do anything in this race, it's time to fucking shit and get, dude. There goes Dylan. Get him, champ. Dusty boy. I am just not that fast. Not as fast as these guys. <sighs> know your limits, and I know my limits in the open section. I'm gonna stick to them. Ooh. These guys are fucking cooking, boy. Go on, go on. That's my man right there. Big boys unite. Let's get more big boys into racing. Come on now. If you got the right suspension set up, it don't matter if you're fat or skinny, dude. And so send that shit. <laughs> Fucking damn it. Oh. Oh man, <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> My goal was to not wreck today. No, oh, that's not going very well. <laughs> All right. I'm in front of him again. Well, he deserved the pass he got on me, dude. I fucking wreck like a chump. Come on, Josh, get your shit together, dude. 
taking a drink of water and I have to rectify that pretty soon I'm gonna try to do four laps today that's the goal but with that piss four start I got basically started back of the pack and then I had to stop and because I forgot to do it my goddamn backpack and then I wrecked Not the greatest start to this race for old Shade Tree Surgeon, but it's a long fucking race, so let's see what we can make of her. Ooh, glad I got around that guy. That would have sucked to get caught behind him. Probably for both of us. Actually, just just for me, getting caught behind somebody means you either got to wait for them to go, or you got to back your shit up, which takes a lot more energy than you would think. So I might look like I'm a dick, just trying to push my way. Concentrate on this deep sand, dude. Huh? You lose concentration in the sand for a fucking second, and you're. You're toast, dude. I mean, you really are. Anyway, you might look like a dick trying to get around him, but it don't help nobody to stop and wait. Well, maybe them. Like, if they're trying to beat you, if you stop and wait, I guess that would be good for them. <laughs> He's back by me anyway. <clears throat> Get the goddamn nipple out of your mouth. Maybe you can turn. Doing two things at once is hard. Oh, on dirt bike, you're usually doing about 100 things all at once, so <laughs> adding something else into the equation, like sucking on your water nipple, usually doesn't help. Ooh. Clock to the old noggin. This helmet has gone down more times than I care to admit. I think it is about time <laughs> for a new helmet.
All right, you gotta get, you gotta get around this guy as soon as I open my mouth. <laughs> God damn, you ain't gonna fucking get around him like that either. <laughs> he ain't gonna get around him at all because I think at this point he's kind of proven himself to be a better rider than you are. When we're close, obviously I'm keeping close with him, but I'm making mistakes trying to pass him. And he is just. too tight to get around him here. I feel like he was slowing down to let me buy him, but sorry, bud, I'm not that good. <laughs> How do you pass someone who isn't making any mistakes? That's, that's a skill I have not learned yet. Something tells me that's number one and number two, baby. <laughs> Damn. That means they've gone a full lap fucking battling it out. That's crazy. That's fucking intense, man. And not uh, far behind them, number three. Whew. All right, second lap. Let's do a little better. No whammies. You know the course. You've got your jitters out. Now do better. Not that good, but better. Still freaked out by mud. I gotta learn to get over that shit. Come on. That was dumb as fuck. And it gave me a little cramp in my quad. Should not be getting a cramp this early. Barely into my second lap. That's a bad thing. I'm hoping this one works itself out. Took plenty of potassium today and I got all my electrolytes, so this cramp is literally just for me doing something stupid. Alright, as much as you don't want to go fast. You gotta make up time. Not sure why that guy stopped. Until now. I was kinda keeping up with him in here, but on the straights he was smoking me. Alright, I think my cramp worked out. I can still feel it a little bit, but not like before. Time to turn the gas back on, buddy. <laughs> it's not the right line. <laughs> Come on. Pay attention, buddy. Pressure is coming into those corners sometimes out of the mud. <laughs> My man! I don't care what anybody says. Having someone cheer you on always gives always gives me a second win. He 
call it cheesy if you want. <laughs> it feels good, boy. It just feels good. Boy, if you are not used to riding sand, you have no idea what this is like. And it probably doesn't look that hard to you. If you have road sand, <laughs> you'll know what I'm going through. Hey, I just noticed Kevin didn't crash in the first lap. Good on you, Kevin. Good on you. No. Watch out for flying mud. That's a bad pace to get past. Oh, that's not even. He's about to go off the goddamn race course. Fucking idiot. There's something small and angry behind me. <laughs> These 125 guys always sound like they're going about a million miles an hour. <laughs> now that I have my shit together, I actually feel like I'm not doing bad in this race. Keeping a good steady pace. I'm not beating myself up too bad. I'm aiming for four laps. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go. Whoa. Usually I try to go to the right to let people pass, but if I'm already over in the left, I feel like if I try to switch to the right, it's just going to confuse whoever's trying to pass me, especially if he's fast. So just a word to anybody who's watching who might be doing a, their first race. When in doubt, just hold your line. If they're good, they'll get around you. That is a hard section. And I, that comes from somebody who rides sand pretty much every goddamn weekend. Whew, that took it out of me. I went through it sloppy and it beat me up. Not a good combo. It looked bad and I had to work for it. <laughs> Not exactly what I'm going for, but I didn't crash, so. Small victories. That was almost bad. You all right? Eight. Eight? Yeah, eight millimeter. I don't, man. I'm sorry, dude. Damn, that was my fucking boy. He always kicks ass, too. That sucks. I didn't want to see his race end like that. That's a bummer. He's fucking kicking ass this season. Fucking getting like consistent top fives and shit. Oh shit. Sorry, buddy. If you're watching this, you probably aren't, but did not mean to do that. Good on you, dude. I can't believe you got by me clean. Thank you for both of us. <laughs> Rubbing tires. <laughs> that part of it's exciting too. I know a lot of people think you get stressed out by 
watching somebody who's really good pass you, but honestly, as I flail around like a goddamn meatball on a toothpick, watching these guys do their things, these guys who are really good, it's fucking impressive, man. To be totally honest with you, it's awesome, and it's a fucking honor to be on the same racetrack as these guys. Watching what they do seems damn near impossible. No egos either, that's what always gets me. These guys who are passing me, they'll be in the, in the pit later fucking giving everybody high fives, smiling, laughing, and having a good time, dude. No egos on any of them. At least none of the people I've met yet. Oh man, I'm just like paddling through this deep sand. This is supposed to be what I'm good at too. Whew. I'm lame. But still having fun. A lot of people mistake that, me like yelling at myself and being negative. Calling myself a Nancy little homo doesn't know his ass from a fucking hole in the ground when it comes to dirt bikes. I mean, that stuff is all true. <laughs> well, it's just how I talk to myself, too. Trust me, I'm having a fucking good time. That was not graceful. I'm going to put that in there too. <laughs> so you know, everybody watching who did this and it's your first race. You know, my ass wasn't exactly dancing through this shit like a ballerina. So. <laughs> but if you want a fourth lap, you're going to have to make this one fucking count. doing those man know thyself and I know that that is a bad idea <laughs> maybe one day I feel good enough to be a showboater today ain't that day you know what tomorrow ain't looking good either Getting, <laughs> getting roosted by the race official. <laughs> That's how you know you're doing bad. Come on, this is your section. For whatever reason. Oh my God, I can't believe I just ripped that out of my hand and caught it again. Come on. <laughs> As usual, as I'm giving myself a compliment, I almost fuck up. It seems to be the big Rudy sections is where I do the best. Tight, Rudy, bumpy, single track is where I make up time, not the open areas. Open areas, I'm just trying to keep up. When I'm in here, I'm actually making up time on people, I believe. Some people, anyway. Obviously, there's been plenty of dudes that have flown flown by me in this shit, so... <laughs> Trust me, I ain't, I ain't getting too big for my britches yet. Alright, on my fourth lap, or on my third lap, going for a fourth. A fourth that I know will not count, but fuck, it'd mean a lot to me. To be able to do a fourth lap. I know it ain't gonna count. Ugh. You know it ain't. Alright, back in the back in the tight Rudy stuff, man. Do what you've been doing and don't make any mistakes, man. This is your spot. 
This is your time to shine. Shine bright like some Crisco that's been left out in the afternoon sun. I can't even pretend I'm doing good in these sand whoops. Just fucking kicking her in survival mode. Uh, awful nice of him to say he's sorry, but I ain't gotta say you're sorry to me, dude. Definitely, definitely, definitely my weakest area. Pretty sure I bowled over my rear brake fluid again. Just because I'm like constantly, constantly on the rear brakes. Just constantly modulate them and I think I bowled that shit over, man. God damn it. Oh, well, here I am with this fancy clake through my own stupidity and now I have no rear brake again not ideal I'll make do but it's definitely not ideal <laughs> especially in this tight shit man that's where that rear brake really really was coming in handy The amount I've had to slow down because not having my rear brake available to me, I don't know how likely a fourth lap is going to be. At this point, I'm just going to fight to fucking make my third lap count. Hey, that's, that's no rear brake. God damn it. Come on, Josh. You gotta go in a little slower since you've only got the front brake. Or else you're gonna do that shit again. My man! Oh my god. I literally feel like crippled without a rear brake. No, nope, still nothing. Damn it. Well, equipment failures happen, man. It's part of racing. Just gotta deal with them as they come. Look at your boy. Fucking completely out of the race. At least that didn't happen to you. At least you can finish the fucking race. Might be limping, but you're finishing. And that fucking counts for something. Damn. The frustrating part about this is that I'm not that beat up. Like, I could do another fast lap. It's just, I don't know if I could do another fast lap with no rear brake. Hey, somebody better than me probably could. Somebody <laughs> could be like, I know rear brake, I'll compensate in other ways, but me, and not me. Shit, I'm sure there's dudes who could come out here and fucking murder me with no brakes. As it is, that's not me. <laughs> that's not Josh. I mean, luckily, I am pretty confident with my front brake. The front brake can do a lot more than you think it can in the woods. So, like, it's impossible to finish with no rear brake. It does add 
a certain level of difficulty, especially in this deep ass sand that'd like to wash you out as soon as, as soon as fucking look at you. Dang, that's a real bummer, dude. I'm not even that beat up. I mean, I ain't as fresh as a daisy. I ain't feeling like a petunia, but... <laughs> My man, sir, I appreciate you. Oh man, man, fucking right to the floor. I wonder what happened. Ooh, I'm leaking. That's what happened. I just fucking lost the fluid. Ain't that a bolt it over? Well, shoot. Uh, that do it. <laughs> Damn. I just ripped that rear brake line right the fuck off there. That's a bummer. Well, I mean, it's not Clake's fault. It literally goes right through where the stock brake line goes, so... Damn. I ripped that motherfucker right off, didn't I? I wonder how I did that. <laughs> Josh, you fucking idiot. Oh, well. I can't help but feel a little frustrated. It's like... Having an equipment failure that is nobody's fault. It's just this kind of stuff happens, you know. Sometimes you drop the bike or you hit a root and stuff gets ripped out. I mean, that happens to everybody. I'm sure everybody in the comments is going to have a million stories about how they're out riding their dirt bike and something ripped off it. But it's like, man, I was I was doing pretty good. At least I, I thought I was doing pretty good till that happened. That just took the wind out of my sails. So a little bit of a frustrating way to end the race, but... Hey man, just makes me determined to do even better in the next one. Dylan! My man! Four laps, dude! Oh, dude, I did not do good out there. Oh man, I freaking sucked wind too, man. Look at my rear brake. That's ripped the fuck off, dude. I can't even imagine what kind of shit and grime is inside my caliper right now. <laughs> no, hell no, dude! Three fucking laps, man! Yeah, the third lap was not pretty. I, kinda, I lost all control of this hand. Fuck that shit, dude. You did three fucking laps in your first goddamn race, man. That's impressive. On a bike with no sus with suspension that ain't set up for you, yeah. dude. Fuck yeah, I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait here till you came in, say goodbye. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, those roots kind of gnarly. Oh man, trust me, I was freaking. I looked like a meatball on a toothpick, dude. I was bobbling everywhere, man. It wasn't pretty. Yeah. So trust me, I'll put that in there too. I'll be like, look, dude. Trust me, I ain't looking pretty either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Later, buddy. Good seeing you. Fucking absolutely, man. Congratulations, man. Dude, I got third. Woo! Fuck off, dude. For real? Damn, dude. Oh man, I crashed so many times. I was like, third place, dude. Can no way top three, motherfucker. Damn, dude. It's the pants. It's the Thor pants, dude. They're fucking magic.